I was stuck in summer school. And in an attempt to make it more fun, I decided to take the opportunity to pull a prank on Mr. Takahashi's speech class. <laughs> During my own speech class, with the help of a camp Aikino, I put on fake dreads, a first-generation white porridge mask, and a beanie, and snuck over to Mr. Takahashi's speech class. And while they were watching the all movies, The Exorcism of Emily Rose, I burst through the door, scaring the... Well, you get the picture. While some of it I was coming, it found it funny. Others were horribly terrified. Either way, I don't feel guilty, because it was a great memory of my time here at Kamehameha. There are just some things that we never forget in life. For example, I'll never forget the jubilant smile I had when I saw a certain administrator's rendition of Hawaiian Cowboy on YouTube for the first time. And the class of 2011 has definitely made memories that will last a lifetime. Years from now, we will look back at moments like these and reminisce on the meaningful experiences and relationships made here at Kamehameha Schools. I am not a Kamehameha lifer, so I'm not going to pretend that I know what kindergarten at Kamehameha was like. I ain't gonna do it. And I probably shouldn't use the word ain't during this day to celebrate education, but that's just the way I play it, Holmes. <laughs> In any case, I've been told that those first few years were the best years at Kamehameha. Lifers can remember dancing to the electric slide at recess, as well as having snack time and nap time every day. When fourth grade came around, new students, including myself, nearly doubled the size of the class, leading to new friendships. On the playground, some of us played Foursquare. Others played tether while we knocked out. But no matter what, Miss Lyman kept us all in line. <laughs> Especially John McConnell, who refused to sit down on the blacktop like Miss Lyman had asked, because it was too hot. <laughs> Miss Lyman responded by making him run laps around the blacktop for a good 10 minutes. We displayed a certain exuberance in our fifth grade production, myself being jealous of Miss Bacon's class. They made a blacklight performance of Electric Avenue with Glow in the Dark Worlds. We learned how to juggle, how to play the piano, as well as many other things I find myself needing to do often. <laughs> Life got a little bit more challenging in middle school, with more personalized schedules, electives, clubs, and school sanctioned sports. We were becoming individuals. Individuals required to tuck in our shirts, wear a belt, and dress exactly the same. <laughs> we sang about different rock types in Mrs. Hobbottle's class and sang the quadratic formula in Mr. I's class. Girls still had PBs and boys were still gross, but we had dances anyway. Conquering to the kill every week in PE made us feel like we could take on the world. But in reality, we could barely take on high school. Apparently, running up an enormous hill around King Kuhopio Gym and back in the middle school was too easy for the average teenager. As snake hills were replaced with three mile runs. And instead of singing about the quadratic formula, Mr. Fukuhara made us prove it. We became accustomed to the sacred place known as Kamehameha Kapalama High School, a world in which students could look forward to walking up plenty of stairs and hills to nearly every class, in which stylish lanterns kept everyone safe <laughs> from terrorist attacks. <laughs> and in two years' time, we completed biathlons as well as our first sweet taste of song contest victory under the direction of Isaiah Kamatiga. Once we got to the upper campus, we all had to deal with the watchful eyes in Miss Time World, who on average just out of detention every 52 seconds. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny, that's just a statistical fact. <laughs> My favorite memories were the rides up and down campus in the orchestra truck, in which other orc dorks and I would stand up, while Doc would abruptly drive under speed bumps and make wild turns in attempts to make us fall down. <laughs> I will also never forget certain math and science classes with Kai Kino Burgess, who would lift up his shirt and do his own thing. <laughs> He also asked Miss Aizaki for a massage in the hallway, prompting her to turn around and run away. 
Our junior year was one of our class's most accomplished moments with our Mayday performance singing Polynesian People. <laughs> Who could forget that epic performance? <laughs> Especially when Mr. Vinta got a kick out of it every time he reminded my home. We did that song justice. Despite our less than perfect Mayday performance, we left the song contest stage our senior year with a bang. With one award under our belt, we achieved an infamous senior sweep, putting our class in the record books for having the most awards received in a single year. How awesome do you have to be to type her first yourself? <laughs> of course, it was because of the leadership of Akeo Kaikina, Keola Pantes, and Miyamoto Wilson, without whom we could not have pulled it off. Besides song contests, we had much to be grateful for our senior year. We finally received laptops and used them every day. Until Facebook was blocked. <laughs> and then unblocked. <laughs> then blocked. <laughs> then unblocked. <laughs> and we danced in circus theme recitals, explored theatrical fairy tales, and even won state championships, which included reclaiming the boys' state basketball title, as well as winning a long-awaited boys' state volleyball title. Both led by Michael Petrucci. <laughs> Sadly, endless amounts of homework and numerous activities for the life of a Kamehameha student to be tiresome. So true is the statement that just last month, Mr. Cowan caught to a sex story class with only half the students awake. Ironically, the lesson that day was on trees. <laughs> but that's what school is about. And somehow, we pulled through a pint of colleges, overcoming senioritis, and sitting before you tonight. Of course, we couldn't do it alone. For four years, our counselors, Mr. O and Ms. Cashman, have guided us throughout our high school careers, enduring last minute schedule changes and transfer requests, as well as assisting us through personal struggles. Then we have our parents. Before we were born, our parents weren't as boring as they are now. <laughs> they got that way from paying our bills, cleaning our clothes, and listening to us talk about how cool we think we are. <laughs> the loquacious President George W. Bush articulated perfectly the difficulties parents face in raising children today when he said, I know how hard it is for you to put food on your family. <laughs> for this and the many other challenges in molding us into who we are today, we sincerely thank you. Our success is your success. I believe it was Shakespeare who said it best when he said, Look God into the past, for memories unto which we remember go unto that which thou possess into thy future. For we have come with only a single sword and vanquished thee into darkness. I'm going to be honest with you, I just made that up. <laughs> but if Shakespeare did say something even remotely along those lines, it would make my point perfectly. Because it is these memories that we have made over the past 13 years that we will cherish for the rest of our lives. While we do not know what the future may hold for us, our memories of Kamehameha schools will remain with us forever. They are a part of us that can never change. <laughs>